Why is Namibia called Land of the Brave? Namibia is a country in the southern part of Africa. It has become popular due to one thing, athletics. And it is as a result of two individuals, Frankie Fredericks and in recent times, Christine Mboma. Namibia is affectionately called the Land of the Brave. Why? Just before we look at it, we are not referring to the meaning of the country Namibia. The country's name actually means vast place in the Namib language. Why is it affectionately called the land of the brave? It all started from this man, Azali Joseph. As Namibia gained its independence, a national competition was held to compose a new national anthem for the country to replace the old anthem. Azali Joseph won the competition and the title of his anthem was Namibia, land of the brave. The first answer of the anthem shows that he was referring to it as a land of the brave because of the fight for freedom by the freedom fighters. This takes us to the first genocide of the 20th century. Many assume that the first genocide of the 20th century was when the Germans decided to exterminate the Jews in the World War of 1941 to 1945. Well, the first genocide of the 20th century actually occurred in Namibia between 1904 and 1908. By then, Namibia was known as German Southwest Africa. The German colonial power decided to exterminate the Herero, Namakwa and San people through a plan of killings and deprivation. In January 1904, the Herero people rebelled against German colonial rule. They were led by Samuel Maharero. The Namakwa people also joined in the rebellion and they were led by Hendrik Witboy. The German general Lothar von Trotha defeated the rebels in the Battle of Waterbeck. He pushed them into the Omaheke Desert. The German forces never allowed them to come out of the desert. Most of them died from dehydration and starvation. The German forces lined up at the perimeter of the desert to kill anyone who tried to make his way out of the desert. The resultant mass imprisonment and degradation of the people led to even more deaths. It is estimated that up to 80% of the Herero people died in the genocide and about 10,000 Namakwa people, representing about 50% of the population, also perished. The death toll of the San people was unknown. In fact, the German colonial power even sent some of the skulls of the dead to Germany to highlight its racial supremacy. Some historians believe Adolf Hitler implemented the Holocaust against the Jews with the German South West Africa model. That was not all. During the First World War, the German power was overthrown by a South African army led by General Louis Botha. Under a League of Nations mandate, the territory became part of South Africa. The Namibia people had to again revolt against the South African government between 1966 to 1990. These revolts and warfare were known as the South African Border War or Namibian War of Independence. This confrontation led to some of the most brutal battles of the continent of Africa since World War II. It is estimated that about 24,000 people died in this war. It is this history of freedom fights against superpowers that led to the words in the anthem, Land of the Brief. This phrase is what has caught up over the years and that is why namibia is dubbed land of the brief thank you very much for watching share your comments and remember to like and subscribe to our channel